So we've conducted a needs analysis that has helped us identify the specifics of what it is that we want the person to do. Um, we have designed a coaching session using format and we have delivered that coaching session using format. The next step is to monitor the results. Did your coaching session work? Uh, and you might remember one of the activities we did here was to play a piece of music and we asked you to analyse uh, the piece of music to assess the piece of music. And of course, everyone had a different perception on the piece of music. And we identified from there that uh, if we don't agree up front what criteria we are using to assess a performance, then there is no way that we're going to agree. And it's the same with coaching sessions. Up front, we need to identify what is the criteria that we're going to use in order to assess the success of our coaching session or not. Uh, and we identified that there's four levels, four places that we can look for criteria. First of all, there is the wow factor, the emotional response. What response are you getting in your coaching session? Are you getting these sorts of behaviours, this sort of thing? That's feedback. Are you getting these sorts of behaviours with people writing notes and asking questions? That's feedback. So there is the emotional response. Some people use the happy cheats. Um, at the end of like training courses in order to assess an emotional response. There is value in that and it's not the be all and end all. The next level of results that you might want to check is the learning. And what we're doing here is this is where we are checking what people can remember. So this is a check of knowledge only. And the way you do this is you might bump into them in the corridor the, the day after the coaching session and you might say, all right, try this quick quiz. What were the steps to handling a customer complaint? Can you remember? Oh, fantastic. Excellent. And what were, the, what were some of the key, prints, or key details associated with listening? Can you remember? Excellent. Fantastic. This is checking the learning. What can people regurgitate? Still not enough, however, we all know the importance of we want people to put this into practice as well. So we also need to check the behaviours. And in order to check the behaviours, we identified that what we're going to need is we're going to need a contrast. We need to know what the behaviours were before the coaching session so that we can compare them to the behaviours after the coaching session. And it's only when we've got that comparison can we see the difference. It's no use checking behaviours after a coaching session unless we've got the before to compare it to. And if we can see a shift in behaviours, fantastic in that particular area. And working on the theory that we get that change in behaviours, that should lead to an increase in results or a change in results. So the results that we're looking for here are things like error rates, customer complaints, customer compliments, um, speed of doing things, meeting deadlines. These sorts of things are the results that we're trying to generate. So we can also look for performance there as well. And if we've identified this up front before we actually uh, uh, run the coaching session, it's going to be far easier to see if our coaching session was successful.